Hey there. Let's dive into a journey through Euler's formula, one of the most beautiful equations in math. E theta I X equals cos X plus I sine X. We're going to break it down step by step, keeping it clear and engaging like we're exploring a treasure map together. Ready? Let's go. A title appears on the screen, bold and clear. Euler's formula, E theta I X equals X plus I sine X. It's like the headline of our adventure, setting the stage for what's to come. Let's start by understanding where this formula comes from. Imagine the exponential function, e through z. It's got this amazing infinite series representation, which is like a recipe for building it up. It looks like this. e through z equals 1 plus z frac z squared 2 plus frac z3 3 plus frac z score 4 plus dots. This is the Taylor series for the exponential function, and it works for any z. It's like stacking up infinitely many tiny pieces to get the full picture. Let's keep this in mind as we move forward. Now let's try something cool. What happens if we take that series and plug in z equals ix? That's where the imaginary number i comes into play. So we get e could ix equals 1 plus ix plus frac ix squared e2 plus frac ix squared 3 plus frac ix squared 4, 4 plus dots. Notice how i is now part of every term. This is our first step into the imaginary world, and it's about to get interesting. To make sense of this series, we need to know how i behaves when raised to different powers. Let's lay it out. i quadratic equals 1, i1 is i, i squared is 9 is 1, i3 equals 1 mind is i, and i4 equals 1. See the pattern? It cycles every four powers. So when we raise ix to different powers, like ix squared equals i2x squared, we can use these to simplify. Let's apply them to our series. Using those powers of i, let's rewrite our series. We get e square ix equals 1 plus ix plus frac i 2 x squared 2 plus frac i 3 x 3 3 plus frac i 4 x score 4 plus dots. Substituting the powers, this becomes 1 plus ix my x my x i 2 minus i frac x 3 3 plus frac x score 4 dots. Look at that. The terms are starting to split into two groups, one with i and one without. Let's organize them. Now let's group the terms. The real parts, those without i, are 1 minus score 2 plus frac 4, 4 dots. The imaginary parts, those with i, are i left x minus frac x3, 3 plus frac x5, 5, 5 minus dots right. This is starting to look familiar, right? Let's see what these series remind us of. Here's where it gets exciting. That real part, 1 minus frac x2, 2 plus frac x4, 4, 4 minus dots, is exactly the Taylor series for cos x. And the part inside the imaginary term, x minus frac x3, 3 plus frac x5, 5 minus dots, matches the series for sine x. So we can rewrite our expression as e theta i x equals cos x plus i sine x. Boom, there's Euler's formula staring us in the face. We've just derived it. But wait, there's more. Let's visualize what this formula means. Imagine a complex plane, like a graph with real numbers on the x-axis and imaginary numbers on the y-axis. Draw a unit circle centered at the origin. Now picture a point starting at 1, 0. That's 1 plus 0 i. As we increase the angle theta, the point moves along the circle. Euler's formula tells us that e could i theta represents a point on this circle at angle theta with coordinates cos theta sin theta. As theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, the point traces the entire unit circle, showing how e theta i theta equals cos theta plus i sin theta wraps around in this beautiful circular dance. It's like the formula is alive, moving in perfect harmony. Let's bring it home. We've derived Euler's formula. e theta i theta equals cos theta plus i sine theta. It's a bridge between exponentials, trigonometry, and the complex plane, a true mathematical masterpiece. From the power series to the unit circle, we've seen how it all comes together. Isn't it amazing how math can connect such different ideas into one elegant equation? Thanks for joining me on this journey. Hope you're as blown away as I am.